nothing will ever come from China, because <laughs> I used to be staunchly against anything non-U.S., mm -hmm. and so everything is manufactured here. And yeah, the, the supplements themselves, or the ingredients themselves, rather, could come from a, a few different places, but in the same way that the U.S. is not the top country in the world in education, mm -hmm. they're not the top mineral deposits mm -hmm. for this particular mineral either. Yeah. So it took me actually a little while to feel safe enough and to learn enough to source things outside, and I was, you know, not be concerned about supply chain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Peak Performance Podcast. I'm Coach Kyle here with Dr. K. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us as we have a very special guest, Barton Scott, founder of Upgrade Formulas. Hey guys, great to be here. Yeah, we've we've worked together a lot of this point, so it's cool to sit down with you. Yeah, absolutely. We've been trying to get you on this show since I met you like five or six months ago, so I'm glad that finally happened. Yeah, we've just in time for the new studio and everything, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, just buying my time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he was like, we'll wait until your operation's set up a little better. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, no, it's great to be here. Yeah. yeah. So first question is, how did you get into supplements? How, where did Upgrade the Formulas really come from? Two, two very different things. One, I was always interested in nutrition. Mm -hmm. And then the second was what really made it possible and then the third is more of an emotional driver, was <clears throat> I was doing chemical engineering and we started learning nanotechnology applications probably sophomore year. And it was really uh, a moment where I, I was thinking, oh, the future of the world's going this direction. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I could see that both on drug side and also on supplement side. And then that, with that awareness, uh, my, I had a parent start to get sick my mother and I could tell things weren't going to get better unless we did something quote unquote unconventional um, <clears throat> and so I realized supplements weren't absorbing mm -hmm. and that was after a lot this is a shortcut a lot of different steps but to keep the show you know short and tight I'll just say we short <laughs> we'll shortcut a bunch of steps and say I realized supplements weren't absorbing finally found the right testing which was a real game changer you know, to, to determine deficiencies, mm -hmm. I realized that looking at blood is not a great across the board way to do it because blood is us on our best behavior is what I've realized. Now you can look at hormones all day in blood and that's fine. That's downstream of what I'm ultimately talk, talking about and focused on. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go as far up the waterfall, so to speak, because I had this understanding from chemical engineering mm -hmm and distillation towers and how you, how you create these systems that actually achieve these results. Um, and that is to engineer a system that take care, that takes, that solves the problem, right? Instead of just, oh, we're going to like find a solution for this thing. It's like, well, let's, let's step back and architect an entire system that becomes a symphony that delivers anything we want through it and so that that was that was our story arc and then yeah the more sick she got and then she eventually passed and i i had all i had a ton of my own health issues i was you know in pretty good shape physically aesthetics wise but in low energy brain fog mold all sorts of things hypo uh, hashimoto's hypothyroidism a lot of different things and yet still honestly less than plenty of people are dealing with today because you stack on like being metabolically unfit on top of all of that, which you know I was to some extent, but I was always, I was in pretty decent shape just from sports and pushing so hard. But that was the other factor. I'd been a wrestler and I had to, I knew what it meant to eat a pound of food. Mm -hmm. And I knew that that couldn't be candy bars. And I knew that at like seven years old. And so that started to inform my thinking. Mm -hmm. And that drive to like, well, you don't want to get beat just because you ate the wrong thing. So right. nutrition became sort of ingrained in a different way than it was from playing other sports that, that I was in. Okay. So what, what made upgrade, upgraded formulas possible? Um, possible, I would say, was understanding the testing that, you know, I found the early version hair test and realized supplements weren't absorbing, as I was mentioning there. Mm -hmm. But then understanding now technology from being a chemical engineer and understanding such that there is such a gap, right? So to tell the story, uh, both my mother and I were taking 
uh, supplements for a year and a half, and we realized like things I had her on, good brands, I already knew by like 21 or so, like plenty of good brands, quite a bit about nutrition. Mm -hmm was a pretty good nutritionist before I became one in addition to, to that degree. And um, understanding, oh wow, we're still quote chronically deficient in something we've been taking for a year and a half. This is not, this is clearly an absorption issue and that's that's a big part of what I went to school for is is all the physics and thermodynamics around things like that. And, and how do you take that and, and actually, you know, apply it and that, to me, it was fairly easy. It was just the execution of it that was incredibly hard, mm -hmm. obviously, because you're you're developing something that doesn't exist, and you're having to to leverage uh, other people's operations to create your own line in their facility. And so, from 22 to 28, I probably read between five and 700 books. A lot of it business, mm -hmm. and kind of gave myself an MBA plus <laughs> some. And then so you know. <laughs> And then I, I, early days, I probably started the company three or four times, so to speak, before it actually worked. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different businesses in order to get to here where we have products that work, that yeah. ship around the world, that, you know, in, in the whole nine yards. So there's, I think there's two parts that make your company really stand out. For my patients, they know how much I love your stuff. Yeah. I think part of it, and you've briefly mentioned both these to me, one is your manufacturing standards. Mm-hmm. And then two is the actual technology behind your products. So let's hear about your manufacturing yeah. standards first. Yeah, so we, we third party test every single batch mm -hmm. because, and that's, that's not required at all. Right. Um, in, in many cases, third party testing isn't even required, mm -hmm. but a lot of companies will just test like their first test they ever run on a batch and never test again, right. which is obviously not what you want. Now, I personally take uh, many of these supplements i'm not going to say every supplement every day mm -hmm. but many of them each day either in the morning or in the evening or at lunch or, or some combination of both right based on what i'm deficient in at a certain time based on the lifestyle i've, I've been living have I been traveling for a mm -hmm. month straight or, or whatever it is right and so it had to meet my standards mm -hmm. and I, I always say like engineer for yourself first yeah. or um, create something for yourself first that solves your own need um, because we're, we're a whole lot more similar than we are different. So part of yeah. it though is like, you have all of your stuff is American source. There's no overseas yeah. and all that stuff as well. Right. Right. So, I mean, you know, some of the ingredients for like our tea blend has to come from multiple places around sure. the world, but these are the best places in the world for those things. Um, other, other ingredients, it, what I will say, nothing will ever come from China. <laughs> It will come from, you know, it's funny, we, um, we have different things that are that soon to come, actually, that will come from other parts of the world as well. Mm -hmm. And what I realized, I used to be staunchly against anything non-US, mm -hmm. and so everything is manufactured here. Sure. Uh, for sure, absolutely. And, and yeah, the, the supplements themselves, the ingredient, or the ingredients themselves, rather, could come from a, a few different places, but in the same way that the U.S. is not the top country in the world in education, they're not the top in uh, mineral deposits mm -hmm. for this particular mineral either yeah. sort of thing. So it took me actually a little while to feel safe enough and to learn enough to source things outside and I was, you know, not be concerned about supply chain and it takes a whole nother yeah. level of understanding that of that world. Sense. Yeah. And then, yeah, on the other side, the absorption side, um, uh, one thing we've talked about before is yeah particle size right and so what i you know is a sort of 3 a.m wake up moment where i i went oh okay like when you have those moments where you sit up in bed and you're like this will not i will this has to come out of me in the middle of the night otherwise i will not be able to go back to sleep for sure and then you know two hours later you're fine then you can go back to sleep <laughs> um it was one of those and <laughs> And so I remember thinking like, oh, it's like really clear. I need to solve this. Like this, this may be my thing to work on at least for some period in my life. And here we are, you know, 10 years later. Yeah. Um, yeah so overnight success, right? Decade. <laughs> That's how that works. Plus, plus years of research um, and struggle and stuff. And, and so the motivating force was, you know, having my own health issues, losing a parent that we were all very close to as a family right uh that was otherwise very healthy 
retired, low stress, you know, good genetics, like pretty lucky in so many different ways. And yet in the matter of a couple of years of doing the wrong thing, supplement wise too, she was told to take calcium. She was taking that religiously. Uh, it was causing myasthenia gravis. Um, mm. So she had her thymus gland removed. Yeah. Like so many different things, uh, you know, stiff joints, heel spurs, all mm. the signs looking back, right. knowing the kinds of things I know now were very evident that, you know, she had a calcium buildup I doubt that they even ran a full thyroid panel on her. I mean, we see thyroid um, in hair and we see adrenals and things like that, but I didn't understand that test the way, obviously, that I understand it these right. days and the way our, our team and of nutritionists understands it when they do consultations. So there was a lot, I, you know, it's that, that thinking of like, you know, the, the way to solve your problems are, is really to just be present with what's in front of you. Um, but when what's in front of you is in Japanese and you don't speak Japanese, so to speak, yeah. um, then yeah. it makes a lot of sense. So.